All right, and here's this clean title piece of shit that we're gonna have to do a lot to. Um, shit, I gotta buy a new window, buy a bunch of new shit. What are you doing? You got a new necklace? Bro, that's crazy. Look, he should go out like that. That'd be pretty tight. Anyways, uh, so we got a bunch of good parts for the shit. Z32 big break kit, a bunch of shit, you know, but this shit's gonna be so much work. Right now, we're gonna focus on the bay. So we're gonna rip off the front fenders, take out the original chassis harness, get all the crap out inside and then start prepping the bay for paint. As I said, we're getting a whole new chassis on it. So we don't fucking need none of this shit. Let's cut it all out, all few boxes out, get this shit ready for paint. So brake lines are all out now. Just gotta take out the booster and some other things, but then we can start sanding this bitch. So engine bay is almost there. We're getting the dash out right now. Gonna take out all the carpet as well. All right, sorry, I fucked up. Forgot to show this, but we're gonna start painting the engine bay. We already prepped every little thing. Oh my God, get away from me, fly. Jesus Christ, it keeps going on my hand. But yeah, oh my God, I'm getting so fucking annoyed. You see that shit? But yeah, we are gonna start painting the bay. So there she is, engine bay is painted. Still gotta lay the clear coat, but we'll probably do that tomorrow to let this shit cure completely before we do any of that shit. But yeah, it looks so much better. All right, so bay is painted. It's all dusty right now. We had the garage open and shit. So we got the new coilovers in, got new bushings put onto the arms. We checked over everything else. That's good. We're getting new inner and outer tie rods. Unfortunately, the hubs we got, we're not gonna work. Uh, so we are gonna be staying with the four lug. I'm just gonna have to ball out on some fucking wheels because nice four lug wheels aren't cheap. Um, so we are gonna be, so gonna, as you see, it's gonna be Z32 brakes all around, front and rear. Um, we got, we're gonna be doing the honeycomb carbon fiber fenders, as well as a 326 power, a real 326 power, not a knockoff wing for the rear. Um, but yeah, motor's getting ready to go in. Let's get it. It's about that time. KA is gonna be going in. Bay is prepped, dusty as fuck. Hey, don't talk over me. All right, let's get it. So fucking hot in here. It's at least 110 degrees in the garage right now. Look at We got three damn AC units in here. And it's still like hot as balls. All right, brand new clutch kit with chromoly flywheel going in. New bearing is installed as well. Whoo, it's hot. So damn hot in here, oh my God. But we're almost done. Oh shit, it's hot. All right, new clutch kit is on. Everything is on. Oh my God, it's so hot. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it, but it's so damn hot in here. All right, she's going in. Motor is in. Uh, we're putting the transmission in last because we didn't want to scratch anything at all. But look at these fenders. <sighs> Honeycomb carbon fiber. Z32, big brake kit. Man, this thing is so beautiful. So much love. We're gonna be changing the motor mounts because we did realize that one of the motor mounts they sent us has a metal cap on it, and then the other one does not. So it tilts the motor a little bit, but for now, it's okay. We'll just address that when the time comes. So it's time to do the intercooler, and traditionally, we put them in the front, you know, mounted to the support, but this one, I'm gonna do a tucked intercooler. Literally gonna put it up, tucked into there. I'm gonna cut out this spot, and then the intercooler piping is literally gonna go directly to it. So it should spool even faster now since it's such a shorter run going from in the throttle body to the actual turbo or vice versa, I mean. But yeah, so let's get that done. So this is my idea. Intercooler is gonna be sitting in the front, just like that. And that way I can utilize the stock bumper support. And then it's gonna go directly from here to there. I got the hot side pretty much complete. Just gotta work on the cold side. This shit's gonna be a pain in the ass because somehow I have to incorporate the math. Oh my God, this shit's been so much damn work. So I had to incorporate the uh, OEM math. 
as you guys can see, this shit was a pain in the ass. I still gotta weld that pipe to the OEM map housing, but I finally got it. Jesus Christ, my back hurts. But other than that, we also got the catch can done. Still gonna make a mount for it right there. Got the fuel pressure regulator in. Still gotta run the rest of the lines. But other than that, everything is coming along nicely. Oh yeah, also made a mini turbo guard. Whew. This thing is killing me. So much work into this build, but it's really coming along nicely. All right, and that's gonna be it for this one. Um, we still got so much shit to do, but I don't wanna have like 20 minute videos. People lose their attention on them. This thing has been kicking my ass, but we finally got it. Very excited to hear this, honestly. This thing's gonna be so dope. Waiting for the valve cover gasket as well. We also got a new distributor coming, so once we get all of that, pretty much good to go. I think the car's gonna be done next week, so stay tuned for that for sure. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate your guys' support. We're gonna be into the new shop next month. We'll see you next time.